Hey guys, welcome to the channel. This is the joy of treasure hunting and today I'm going to test out my brand new Nocta Legend metal detector and you know I'm, I'm also testing out this equipment so bear with me uh, give me some tips and tricks along the way as to how I can do a better job of filming for you guys that follow along but today I, uh, it's finally a, a nice sunny day as you can tell it's been raining it's been cold I've been you know itching to get out of course I got a new detector so I'm ready to go and check it out so today I'm just at my neighborhood park and pond and you know this place was put in in the late 90s so I don't expect to find anything amazingly old or valuable but you never know it might have been some lady that lost a really big diamond ring so who knows we're, we're gonna go out there and we're gonna see what we can find I'm gonna take you guys along I'm gonna show you what the what the legend can do and how it works and then who knows maybe we'll find something cool so let's get into it and let's let me let me reword that let's dig into it come on <music> Well, here it is, my brand new Nocta Legend Detector. And uh, it may look a little different to you guys because uh, the first thing I did was I filled in the recesses of the black buttons with some white paint. Man, I really like the way that that comes and pops off the screen. If you're interested in how I did that, I'll put another video in my uh, in my channel on, on how uh, I did that super easy and it and really makes it stand out. And especially when you put one of these plastic covers over the top, the glare, it was really hard to see those buttons underneath. But uh, yeah, I, I you know, again, I'm new to this thing. I'm just gonna turn this thing on and we're gonna go around the park here and we're just going to see if anybody left us any treasures. Um, also got the uh, Nocta AccuPoint uh, pin pointer with it. So we're going to be utilizing that. It's a little muddy because I couldn't stand and had to go out in the muddy rain and, and try it out. But uh, I'm going to bring you guys along and we're going to do some digging. And let's see what kind of treasures we can find today. So come on, let's go. Okay, so let's turn it on here. Loading. All right, so you guys that uh, are experts with this legend detector, uh, appreciate some tips and tricks along the way, maybe settings and things like that. Um, I know they're really powerful and uh, there's probably so many things that uh, I'm gonna do wrong just learning how to use this thing. So uh, please, in the comments section below, give me some tips. Um, I've seen a number of videos out there with some of the coin programs and things like that, and I've tried to tweak it a little bit. But today we're gonna be in uh, field mode because this kind of looks like a field. It's more of a field than a park. I think when I think of park mode, I think maybe trashy areas. I don't expect there to be a whole lot of trash here. Um, I've got it in M three because I read and I've heard that that's for more wet soil and it's been so wet out here I really expect it's just going to be uh, soggy still um, that's why I'm all kitted up I've got my knee protectors I've got my uh, my my gloves here trying to cover up the, the, the metal detector so it doesn't get too messy and um, we're just going to go through here and, and see what we can find so uh, let's get started nice and quiet so far you know I probably should do some kind of oh I already got a signal here what is this 27 28 hopefully you guys can hear that I've got a I've got a microphone down here picking up the sound from there I've got a microphone on me so you can hear me talking and if I talk too much <laughs> let me know um, but uh, we'll see what this is here we got a hopefully you can see my screen I got it turned up a little bit looks like a 27 29 no iron readings. Let's pinpoint this thing. Well, it may be kind of big. Of course, this has got a big coil on it. All right, so somewhere around here it looks like. Let me see if I can get you guys somewhere around here. Hopefully. Well, let's get the pinpointer out and let's see what it says first. It's 
somewhere in here maybe. Let's go ahead and just dig something out. It's, it's in this. Okay. Over here. So this is it, whatever it is. Sorry, I'm still trying to figure all this out. I really can't tell what this is yet. We'll have to clean off all our finds, but we'll put it in the in the pouch for now. Well, I was wrong. It wasn't that little piece of junk that I picked up and put in the pouch here. Uh, this thing. No, it's not this thing, whatever this thing is. It's actually still here. And what we got, let me see if I can get into the sun a little bit better. Shush. Nice little weight. A little lead weight. So that ring up at uh, 27, 28. Nice little lead weight there. You can see? And so, uh, yeah, there we go. There's our first find of the day. Uh, I'm pretty happy about that, actually. <laughs> Why? I don't know. I just, I think, you know, it's just cool, regardless of what we find. Just to think, you know, let me turn this thing off. Just to think, you know, how did this thing get here? What happened? Oh my goodness. Sorry guys, I gotta learn how to turn these things off. Okay, so as we might have expected out here next to the fishing pond, our first find was actually a lead weight, fishing weight. Well, let's keep going. Uh, that was fun. Okay, what is, what's on the agenda next? You know, I, like I said, it'd be really cool to find a ring or something along those lines, but uh, you just never know. That's the cool thing about this hobby is you never know what you're going to find, and everything has a story. The history, you know, this area, like I said, was only developed in the late 90s, so there's not a ton of history here, but uh, just still very neat. So I'm getting a little bit of a signal here. It's kind of a scratchy sound of signal 17 18 19 on my id kind of a beepy beepy kind of sound hopefully you guys can still hear that let me pinpoint this a little bit hmm almost sounds like there's multiple targets there doesn't it guys might be this giant uh coil here it just, uh, it tends to, why am I not getting anything now? Uh, okay, here we go. That big old coil on there, kind of 17, 18. All right, let's dig this up. See if I can't take you guys along for this ride here. Get out of the sun. Here we go. So there it is. Okay. So again, as we might expect out here on the uh, on the pond, we've got another, this time a bullet weight, so fishing weight. Um, probably a bunch of these little boogers out here, because uh, was a, it was kind of ringing, like, ding, 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 ding. So uh, I wouldn't be surprised if there were a, a handful of them that got dropped or spilled right here. So that's, uh, that's what that find was. Okay, let's, uh, let's be a little bit more... I don't know, selective, so to speak, about what we dig. Let's look for some higher numbers, maybe. Well, that rings up pretty loud. What is this? Boy, this big old coil that comes with it, this LG30 coil. I, I, I mean, I like it, but it just seems like I'm covering, you know, very small targets are getting hit on three or four times, and so it kind of gives me a false sense of how big uh, of an item I'm looking at getting a pretty consistent 30 29 from that direction so let's see what this is what do you want to guess another fishing weight maybe guys we'll find out man this acupoint is either super sensitive or whatever i'm looking for is is pretty good size i mean i'm it's going off for a large area here so uh i don't know we'll we'll dig in there and see what that might be huh might be their first piece of trash, tin can or something from that size. You never know. Go ahead and cut us a nice looking plug here. See if we can't just peel this back. It's going to be near the surface, obviously, because that AccuPoint kind of went crazy. Oh, yeah. Looky there, guys. There it is. Sure enough. First piece of can. But 
as they say, you got to dig the trash if you want to find the treasure, but uh, so be it. Okay, we got a nice little consistent hit here, 25. See where this is. Still trying to learn where the pinpoint place is on this coil. Something like, something right there. You guys that know, tell me where in that coil I need to be looking for for that pinpoint spot. Let's get the AccuPoint out here. See if it's real close to the surface. And yeah. So we're right about in there, guys. Let's try that. Dig that thing out. 2526, I think, is a number that you might expect for like a nickel. You know, or might not expect a buffalo nickel or anything, but a nickel would be really pretty cool. Let's see if we dug it up. Not yet. It's getting close though. Boy, it's going crazy. Okay. What about now? Oh, wait a second. What's this? Oh, yeah. Looky there. What do we got, guys? <laughs> Another bullet weight. Another fishing sinker. So that's ringing up. Let's see. Yeah. That's ringing up exactly the same as a nickel. <laughs> the bullet weight. Oh well. So, there you go. See? 25. Same as a nickel. Oh well. Hey, you gotta dig the bullet weights if you want nickels, apparently. That's just part of the process. Now, what do we got here? Oh, nice. Little fishing lure of some kind. Little roadrunner looking thing. Yeah. Cool. Well, there's another piece of kit. You know, it's kind of like the, uh, the, you ever see that Survivor show? They give them a list of, I don't know, 10 items that they can bring with them. I tell you what, they ought to think about making a metal detector one of those items because they can find all the fishing gear they need <laughs> if they have a metal detector. Well, we're getting close to, uh, the end of this peninsula here where they've got this nice little bench set up and everything and so you, you know sometimes you can go out and you can look around and you're like yeah that'd be a place where I would expect a lot of people to have congregated so I'm kind of looking forward to searching around in this area maybe we'll get lucky and find something besides a little fishing gear okay sure enough right here by this picnic bench or park park bench starting to see Got a pretty good 43, 44, 46 sort of signal. Kind of bouncy though. Now 31, 20. Hmm, never know what that might be, but the fact that it's so bouncy might actually be a bad thing, but we'll we'll see what we get here. Let's pinpoint it and dig it up. Oh, look at this guys. Roundness. Oh, what do we got? Our very first treasure, our first coin. Let's clean it up a little bit, it looks like. See the edges? What do we got here? It's so muddy out here, it's hard to tell what we've got, but it looks like a Roosevelt dime to me. I'm gonna have to put a, uh, a brush or something into my kit. <clears throat> No, no, false alarm. It's a shield on it. So this is going to be a modern penny. Oh, well. Hey, I'll take it. Guess what, guys? We've got our very first, we got our very first coin find with my new Nocta Legend. So, big score. Awesome. Well, we got our very first bottle cap. Thing rings up. 33, 32. But you see how this side over here, this little ferrous indicator, shows it's got a little bit of iron in it. Now, there's supposed to be settings on here to allow you to get rid of bottle caps, if I can remember how. Um, I can't remember right now. But uh, it would be interesting to see if it wouldn't discriminate that thing out. If you guys remember how to do that... Uh, um, put us a comment down below and also let us know how how well it works for you those of you that use one of these Nocta Legends. 
Hey, well, you look at there, our very, our second treasure, Roosevelt dime, and it rang up 46, 47, just like they normally do. So pretty cool. We're on the board with 11 cents so far. Cool beans. So there we have it. The first detection with my new Nocta legend is in the books. Let me show you what I found after I cleaned it all up. So today we found a few clad coins, one dime, four pennies. We've got a 30-30 shell here, a few pieces of some fishing lures, as we might have expected. Obviously, we're around the pond there. Um, some mystery lead, a couple of chunks of that, some split shot, a few bullet weights. And it was interesting, these bullet weights, they rang up at 25, 26, real consistent. So I thought maybe I had a nickel, but no. Then I got this one piece of lead. Maybe it, it could be a, the head of some sort of a fishing lure. Might also be, I don't know, uh, some sort of a larger bullet. But uh, anyway, I would say that's a successful hunt. Um, it found some, you know, really small pieces. I didn't dig everything. I got to the point where I kept digging up these little split shot everywhere. And I thought, you know, I'm going to hold out for some better targets. But uh, it worked really well. Uh, you guys that uh, have one of these Nocta Legends, if you know all the tips and tricks and how to set them up, leave us some comments down below. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, Y'all have a wonderful day, and God bless.